Alright. Covers video time. Been a while since we had one. And I didn't want a day one when my phone was broken. But this new phone speaker is a bit crappy anyway. And it keeps popping when I listen back to the recordings. So here is a covers video. It is called Five Good Comic Book Covers, and that is what I show. First, we have Detective Batman, issue 962. Normally, I didn't include homage covers or tribute covers on these, but this is based on... And I had Michael Elboy cover, but that one didn't have these two characters on it. Batman and Aztec Batman. I just really like this one. I'm somewhat of a closet Aztec Batman fan. And while I prefer the style of Michael Elboy's original... I think this is the better image. The original had Aztec Batman and then I think it was Batman in a karate outfit with a pig mask on or something like that. Always good for a homage cover to improve on the original in some way. Surprising to have two fairly recent DC covers make this list. This is The Flask number 22, which is a incredibly disappointing issue, especially when married with this absolutely brilliant cover. We have got The Flask, my favourite one, the one with the funny art. And the cover promises you a comic with the long-awaited, much-anticipated return of this version of the flask after he had been tossed into the pits of comic book limbo during the New 52. He doesn't really do much in this issue. And in the end, he doesn't come back. When you take all that into account, it just feels like a real waste of an amazing cover. Peter Parker, Spider-Man issue 13 here. Cover by Lee Months or Junior Junior. Comics.org list Lee Months as the cover artist, but the trade paperback with this as its front cover lists Junior Junior. I am inclined to say it is Lee Months because Marvel often credit the wrong artist on the cover credits and trades. But this was an odd one to work out because... It kind of could be both of them. Spider-Man definitely has the Junior Junior look to him. The cover concept seems Junior Junior. But late months, he does the interior artwork and he is credited online. So I don't know which of the two I'm going to put on my official table chart. Which really does exist. This is it here. This is a kind of great cover. A tad misleading maybe. But great all the same. Well the thing is. Karnak. He is in the issue. But he doesn't have his symbiote. It's a thematic cover I guess. It's a really nice image. Actually, having the two side by side, it is very clear that my copy of the single issue has had its colour fade somewhat. Maybe the camera doesn't pick that up much. I like Cyclist, and here is one of my favourite covers with him. 
really fucking spectacular picture by Sam Chang. But I have also spoken a lot about how much I loved this period of excellent men for how it elevated minor characters and had them stand as equal or as important as the mainstays. This cover reflects that. We have Cyclist stood in front of the student, Genteel. Genteel was one of the least developed of the student body. But it's neat that he gets in on this good cover. I think this was a variant too. Cyclist looks... Cool as fuck on this cover, though. Here is a four cover by Mike Diddy Dardo Jerk. And I like it a lot. This is for issue 501. The penultimate issue of the original four series. And there is a few things to appreciate about this. He is not wearing his god-awful costume that he was wearing at the time. Instead, he's just shirtless, which is an improvement over the armoured bra that he kept putting on. I like the white, the background. It is appropriate for the image. It's highlighting for sadness and emptiness. The image just wouldn't work as well if you had an actual background there with, like, destroyed ruins or whatever. Really, really good cover. Those were my five good comic book covers, and I hope you liked them. Comment down below with what you think of each individual cover, and I want lengthy essays about them all. This video is also dedicated to the memory of Sidney Portier. It is what he would have wanted. I rate these covers seven thumbs up.